All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praise and glory is unto Yahweh, Bashim Yahushah, Bashim Ravakakudash, double honor to the apostles and the others at the great millstone. Greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Shalom. Um, yeah, prophecy, 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 the year of prophecy. Okay, this is it. And uh, getting closer to, to what it's supposed to be. Okay, we're looking for, forward to the day of the Lord. Now, a lot of you people out there may not be looking forward to this, but, but the prophets are excited about this, man. Okay, we see the mark of the beast coming to pass. We see World War III coming to pass. We see cherish in the sky. And our and our faith is being uh, increased. All right, and when we see articles like this about World War III, it says Israeli military instructed to prepare for Trump strike on Iran. And it was a report. Yeah, so in 2020, we've seen Soleimani taken out, top general in the Middle East. And we also see um, Iran's uh, top nuclear scientist uh, taken out last night. Okay, these things are all brewing up for uh, World War III. All right, and this is the news break app. Uh, you know, uh, it says uh, Israel military is preparing for the possibility that the Trump administration will launch a military strike against Iran, Axios uh, reported on Wednesday. Senior Israeli officials told the outlet that the Israeli government instructed military commanders to prepare for the potential strike during the very sensitive period between now and when President-elect Joe Biden takes office on January the 20th. They feel like this is a time where America's preoccupied. This is a time where uh, the guard is down, you know, and, and this is a time that they can strike. Because the world, uh, contrary to popular belief, the world hates at large hates America, okay, because America has been that hammer and the bully all over the earth, all right? The, the, the city that's been in great pride, the city that corrupts its... Uh, it's uh, uh, the people of the world that come over to America. When they come back, they bring their democracy. And, and, and it's just a place that, 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 that the world at large is realizing it was wonderful at the time. But now it's, they're just tired of America, double-crossing and, and so on and so forth. And the scriptures hit it heavily. But this particular um, scriptures I'm going to go into are just that World War Three is brewing. A lot of people don't, don't, don't like World War Three, but hey. Too bad. This is what it is. All right. So let me uh, let me get the scripts. All right. This is Revelation chapter eleven verse fourteen. The second woe is past, and behold, the third woe cometh quickly. Okay. Those woes are um, wars, world wars. Okay. The second woe was World War Two. We know what woe. The first woe was World War One, and the third cometh quickly. World War Three. All right, it's coming. It's coming quick. Let me go to uh, another scripture. The difference between the wars. Okay. Right uh, here. Isaiah chapter nine verse five. For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise, and garments rolled in blood. Those are how the previous wars were fighting, with guns, with with batons, uh, bayonets. Okay, bullets, even arrows swords and shields and, and, and bucklers and so on and so forth in previous war, uh, wars but it says here but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire but this world war is going to be fought with burning and fuel of fire and that's all evident because uh the the top uh, scientists in iran was just killed too and what were they doing with that uh what was he doing top nuclear scientist what was he doing he's over there uh, producing uh, uranium and, and things that could create a, a major bomb. Now it could also be used for for uh, for uh, for energy and as an energy source, but no one truly believed that, right? <laughs> so they took him out. And uh, and of course, those Israelis over there, they're they're making sure that um, they don't want that dude to 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 live long because they're in direct range. America's across a major um, major oceans before you can get to them. But Israel is right there, you know, near the same uh, 
uh, continent uh, mass, okay, of the old world. All right, so let's go from there. Let's go to Joel. Joel 2. Start up. And this chapter is about the missiles, okay, and different destructions that happened at this time. But I'm going to get to the point, which is um, verse 3. It says, A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burneth. Okay, it says the land, because when it when it pops out the silos and, and pushes out the uh, out the uh, out the the nuclear silos, it, it's a it's a burst, and then after them, it, it was a propulsion fire that pushes out after them. It says the land is as the Garden of Eden before it was paradise, living, thriving ecosystem going, right, and behind them a desolate wilderness, yea, and nothing shall escape them, yeah. And it goes deeper into that when you go into the rest of this chapter, particularly the next few verses. It shows you how these missiles are going to burn up everything, man. And how, how many of them is going to be, which coincides with Revelation. And and, uh, and and the damage it does, nothing's going to be a stop. It running the walls. Nothing's going to impede its progress of what it's going to do. Matter of fact, I'll get that in Second Edris 16. Start up. Um, let's see here. Um, yep, verse three. Matter of fact, verse two. Gird up yourselves, and with cloth of sack and hair, bewail your children, and be sorry, for your destruction is at hand. And if any of you are music fans, uh, the group, the Police, their lead singer Sting, he he made a song called Russians. Okay, and that was about a song during the Cold War, which the song Russians was particularly about how, uh, you know, if you press the button, you know, and I think it was um, Gorbachev, and it was also Reagan at the time that the song was made, and he was talking about in the song, if you love your children, then you won't press the button. Well, be well your children, because this button is going to get pressed. It's biblical prophecy. The Heavenly Father said it to be so. And particularly, America will be destroyed. Okay, there will be other land masses that will be destroyed. Israel as well. Because those, those imposters got to get out of there. Okay. But this is coming. It said, a sword is sent, and who may turn it back? A fire is sent among you, and who may quench it? Plagues are sent unto you, and what is he that may drive them away? Let me jump down. Verse 7, may one turn away an arrow that is shot of a mighty archer. And in the scripture, the, the, the missiles is, is, is known as, as arrows. Once they begin this, what well, I'm just going to say, um, the mighty Lord sendeth the plagues, and who is he that can drive them away? You can't turn it away. You can't drive, drive the sword away. Once it begins to be shot into the ends of the earth, there's no turning back. Okay? And whoever... It falls upon, you know, landmass. It's going to devour it all up. And even you Israelites out there, okay? Even you even you Jakes out there. Everybody in this landmass that's left here will will be uh, destroyed. Okay, yeah, it says that we'll, we'll get beamed up out of it, pursuing Revelation, the, the 18th chapter. And, you know, there'll be some elite that escape it. They'll try to take a quick trip, you know, trip into space to try to dig underground. But when it all comes down to the ground, everybody's getting done, man. Okay, everybody that that uh that didn't um that didn't get out of here is gonna is gonna burn. Okay, the scene in Terminator uh, Two, Judgment Day, very uh prophetic uh, uh, scene that they they depicted in that movie. All right, it says um, a fire goeth forth from his uh, from his wrath, and who is he that may quench it? He shall cast lightnings, and who shall not fear? He shall thunder. Who shall not be afraid? It says, The Lord shall threaten, and who shall not be utterly beaten to powder? Okay. I'm going to keep reading. It says, The Lord, the earth quaketh, and the foundation thereof, and the sea ariseth up with waves uh, from the deep, and the waves of it are troubled, and the fishes thereof also, before the Lord, Yahweh, and before the glory of his power. For strong is the right hand that bendeth the bow. His arrows that he shooteth are sharp and shall not miss. 
when they begin to be shot into the ends of the world. We all know a regular arrow can't be shot uh, from one end of the earth into the other. So this shows you that this isn't talking about regular uh, wooden arrows with a stone or whatever arrowhead. This is talking about nuclear missiles. Okay? And Edris just uh, jotted it down as he as he understood it, you know, as he could describe it in the, in, in the terms that were, were today. There was no such technology as nuclear missiles in that time, but he saw what it was, and he just called them arrows. Other people called them uh, other things in the scripture, the gl gl glittering spear, so on and so forth. Okay, now let me go from there. Let's go to... Uh, let's see that. <clears throat> Um, all right. Uh, let's see here. Mm. Yeah, perfect. Jeremiah 49 and 20. Therefore, hear the counsel of the Lord Yahweh that he has taken against Edom and his purposes that he had purposed against the inhabitants of Teman. Talking about these are Edomite cities in Edom. Teman is okay. It says, "Surely the least of the flock should draw them out." And the least of the flock, those Amalekites that are over there in the land of Israel. Okay, they're they're. You think they didn't? They're not um, uh, causing this war to, to 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 prosper. You know, to to go forth. Okay, they're they're in they're in harm's way. They don't want to be caught in the dead zone. Okay, but that's where they're at. That's the land of Israel. Okay. And, they, and they've been over there running the world secretly, you know, and, and, and making things happen on the earth. And now they got to deal with it. Everybody's finding them out and, and, and tired of their SHIT. They're kind of trying to completely control the region. Okay, it says, surely he shall make their habitations desolate with them, the lands that they lived in, that they live in, okay? Um, and it's funny because these, these nations are mentioned in Ezekiel. I'll hit that real quick. Ezekiel the thirty eighth chapter. <clears throat> um, uh, Ezekiel thirty two. Let me just give you thirty eight and verse thirty verse two. It says, "Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog, and the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and prophesy against him." It's talking about over there in Russia. Okay, it says, "And say, thus saith the Lord, Power Yahweh, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince, prince of." And me shaking two ball. Um, let me, yep, it said, I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaw. I will control you to do my will. Okay, says the Heavenly Father. And I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all them handling swords. You know, all, all of them with weapons, okay? When we go into Habakkuk, or uh, no, I mean Joel, the third chapter, it, it'll tell you that um, that uh, um, I'll get it. Let me read another 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 verse. It says, Persia, which is Iran, Ethiopia, and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Gomer and all his bands, the house of Tokomar and all, of the north quarters, and all his bands, and many people with thee. Okay, now let's go to. Yet be, be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and thy and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be a guard unto them. So Russia is supplying all them other nations that are not uh, linked with NATO, but that are enemies of of, of, uh, of the United States. Okay, and in, in the Western world. Okay, and Russia's being a guard unto them. He's giving them weapons. As a matter of fact. Let me get that right now. He's giving them weapons. He's helping them with um, with, with, with protection, planes, and, and, and other uh, guns. Okay, and even even uh, uh, Moab ha has major guns over there in that region as well. And their their topic, but particularly with that article, it's talking about Iran, Israel, and the United States. Okay. Um. Let me see it. Uh, yep, uh, Joel 3 and 9, Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, prepare war, 
Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Okay, let all the different warriors of, of the region come up there and fight. People to, to, that are going to participate in this world war. Let them all come up to the, to the Valley of Jehoshaphat. It says, beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. Okay, all your agricultural uh, money and, 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 and tools, you're going to take that money and put it towards your defense systems, towards your, your military. Okay, it says, let the weak say, I am strong. That they can have those weapons that, that, that uh, Russia have been a garden to them with. That have shared them with them, getting them on the level. Okay, why? Because they have to fight against this beast. All right? So assemble yourselves and come, and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about thither. Call thy mighty ones to come up, excuse me, to come down, O Lord Yahweh. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. And Jehoshaphat means Yahweh Shapat, meaning the Most High's judgment, Yahweh's judgment. Okay, that's the place where the judgment is going to happen at. Okay? For there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. He will judge all the heathen round, round about in that region. Of the, uh, and all in the whole earth. For, for and plead the, the cause of his people Israel. Okay? This is where he will judge all flesh. Okay? The Most High will judge all flesh. He's going to judge the, the, uh, his elect with righteousness and salvation and glory. He's going to judge his two-thirds. With, 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 uh, with fire and death by pain, okay? And he's going to judge uh, the other nations and put them in subjection under Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Shai. All right? That, that the Israelites may, may rule over them. All right? And this is what what's coming to happen. All right? So th these are the drums of war being um, being drummed. And, uh, and, and anybody that's not on board with this, it's too bad, man. This is going to happen. This is going down, okay? There's nothing you can do about it. Catch a front row seat and enjoy your judgment. If you're, if you're an Israelite, hey, it will behoove you to, 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 to figure out if you're of, of the elect or not, okay? Because if you're not of the elect, you're going you're gonna to catch a, a, a bad judgment, man, okay? And we'll just see your spirit in the kingdom. Okay, through the process of reincarnation. But if you're of the elect, man, now's when you need to quit playing and get serious with this thing. Okay, if you're under one of them groups that don't teach about this or don't teach about the mark of the beast, that's another something. You know, because if you take that mark, you're going to get the, the missile fire. But these are the early stages of, of, of that coming to pass. But you see, like brothers are saying, all roads lead to the chip, to the mark, and to the day of the Lord. Okay, to the, to the return of Yahweh Shai. All right, so it will behoove you to, to, to get on board and get right with this thing. Okay, so Lord willing, this was edifying, giving all praise and glories unto Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakakwadash, double honor to the apostles and the elders at the great millstone, and greetings, salutations, and blessings unto the elect. Until the next one, Shalom.